I wouldn't say that I'm a minimalist, but it's a concept that I find quite intriguing. I'm a big fan of the minimalist style and aesthetic in general, where things are super clean and simple with a little accent on top that makes it more exciting, be it through colours or logos, just something extra to give it a personal stamp. This is exactly how I've built my desk setup, starting with the most important thing, the desk. With there being so many different designs out there, I wanted to find something more individual and different. With this in mind, I consciously avoided IKEA as it's too easy, everyone does it. I'd recommend checking out Wayfair because there are so many options given they have lots of different brands on their site. If you search desk, you literally have 1900 options to scroll through and they have a lot of cool modern and minimal looking designs. Take your time to find one you really like and can take some pride in aesthetically. It won't take too long and it's probably the most fun part of building a setup. I found this one on Wayfair called Harry's Desk for £147, which is $185, which was on sale. It's now called Castanen Desk and cost £200 or $245, so I've got a steal, which is a bonus. If I'm honest, I picked it up for style over practicality, but in the end I got both. It's minimal in design, clean and all white, and I really like the three different coloured drawers, which adds a bit of flavour. I also like the wooden legs that are a little unconventional and are a nice contrast with the desk itself and the wall. It's also an ideal size for the space I have in my room at 60cm deep and 120cm wide, whilst being big enough to do anything that I potentially need to. Desk done, let's add the essentials since I'm going for a minimalist vibe. This is the desk setup I've had since being a student, and the essentials I need would be my laptop, headphones and space for books and note taking. As a student, I'd keep all my books in my bag and get them out on a need-to basis, which helps keep the desk clear. But I'd always have a notebook because I like to doodle a lot. But now I've got the iPad Pro, which I can doodle on, I can swap that out. With all of this, I can crack on with my work. It's very basic, but it suits its purpose. Whilst I love the minimal aesthetic, this is too minimal for me. As I said before, I like the minimalist style with an additional personal touch. So let's do that. Being a student when building this setup, I didn't have any money to buy cool techie things to fill the space. So I found some odd bits I have knocking around that I think are cool which can fill the empty spaces. I have updated items that I first started with with this desk setup over time, but the concept is still the same. Fill the spaces with personal things you already own, which you can keep updating over time. First we have my Axel Arigato chopsticks, which are great for spontaneous noodle cravings. <laughs> they have no purpose. I just think they look cool. They come in the box when you buy a pair of Axel Arigato shoes. I don't own a chopstick rest, but I found this matchbox at a restaurant and I thought it would work. And it does the job quite nicely. I just really like how these look on my desk. Maybe I'm a bit strange, but I like it, so who cares? Next is my Mont Blanc ballpoint pen, which I received as a gift for graduating. So it has some sentimental value to me. The box looks smart and it's a good size for this corner space. Unlike my chopsticks, this is useful for any physical notes and doodles that I may want to take. Next, I have a couple of knickknacks that I've got from my travels over time, and I found this stand thing in my brother's room not being used, so I took it and it kind of works for standing these up, and there's a nice little slot for my AirPods, and it makes quite a nice top border for this desk. For this empty space up here, I decided to fill it with some of my sporty things. So this is actually a box from my electric toothbrush, but you wouldn't notice unless I told you, and it's just a plain white box that I filled with these memorabilia from games that I've been to or played in. And then the headphone box just fitted nicely in this space, so I put that in. And then I added this Fiorucci label just to add some colour. Oh, and I have the sunglasses cleaner which I use to wipe my screens. And that's everything that you'd find on my desk. My drawers are far from minimal. In the first drawer I keep my sunglasses, a Persol round frame and Ray-Ban aviators. In this drawer I keep all my travel stuff. <laughs> which to be honest is an absolute mess, so let's leave that. And in the final drawer, I keep all my stationery. My drawers aren't at all aesthetically pleasing, but let's be honest, they don't need to be. My chair is a simple wooden chair. It used to be around my dinner table, but I took this when my parents upgraded their kitchen chairs. Maybe I should call it a vintage chair, just so it sounds cooler. This is my vintage chair. I did have a canvas at Times Square behind, but I decided to take that down, but I still need to fill this space at some point. I do really like this space aesthetically, and since leaving uni, it's been fine. But I do need to upgrade this setup in general, to be honest, as much like a lot of people at the moment, I'm now working from home using this as my primary workspace. It's not the best work from home setup without a monitor, which is a bit annoying, and the chair isn't great for sitting here for hours a day, and frequent use has led to marking the white desk, which is really annoying. So I'll be looking to upgrade this particular setup soon, but hopefully this video has shown how easy it can be to build a minimal desk setup without spending a fortune, and the only real cost to me has been the desk. Hopefully absolutely anyone can follow this process of finding a desk you like that fits your budget, adding your essentials, and then adding your personal touch. And there you have it, your budget minimalist desk setup.